Hey y'all, uh, so welcome back to Let's Play East 6 Arc of Napishtim. Last time we started the game, and this time we're taking on the first boss. Yep, first boss time. Well, I am already doing really bad at this. This boss is can be difficult for the first timer. What you want to do is aim for the eye and jump out of the way of the hand. Well, yeah, aim for that eye thing in the center of his chest, and you should. Be able to kill him just fine. Remember that item I told you to buy back in the village? Make sure you have that. That'll make the boss a 10, 20 billion times easier. And my sword broke. She thought I was a bad person. Calamity Hunt. Wandering Calamity. Numerous monsters have appeared near here since ancient times, leaving nothing but destruction in their wake. It's been some time since the last sighting ten years ago, when three appeared at once. We were able to defeat them, but our victory was not without the loss of many red, red and warriors. Young Eurasian, no at all Christian. I am deeply impressed by your actions. Ordinarily, weapons of steel are completely ineffective against a wandering calamity. Even if they are able to weaken one, defeating it would be physically impossible. The only one to way to pierce its thick shell is to use a special form of weapon. This was forged with an ore we called ML, which can be found throughout the Cannon Islands. Its strength and resilience surpasses that of any metal brought here by the Eurasians. Ola was able to defeat that monster because the tip of the arrow she fired was made of the same material. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have been able to, you're right. Well, I am Adol. Yeah, I'm pretty strong. Adol, I have something I wish to discuss with you. Come with me to my room. I'll be speaking to him as the chief of this village. You have no reason to be concerned. Come with me. So yeah, we're gonna go speak to the chief. I think he has something he wants to give us. Or maybe he wants to kill me. Thank you for coming. I have much I wish to discuss with you. But first I must give you my thanks. Thank you for saving Isha's life. She and Ola were my younger brother's children. They are both very deeply important to me. Regrettably, he lost his life defending this village against the wandering calamities. It's been ten years since then. If not for you, one of my daughters may have met the same fate. Terrible fate. Truly, I cannot thank you enough. I realize it may not be easy to do so, but I ask that you forgive my previous behaviors towards you. Uh, okay. Haha, <laughs> to think you are the second Eurasian whom I've taken interest in. The majority of care for those only themselves, disrespect the spirits, and seeking to upset the peace of this land. Ah, excuse me, I didn't call you here to impose upon my, you my views. I assume that you remember the stone wall on the Fountain of Prayer's northern side. That was where the monster you fought emerged from. 
and as luck would have it, an underground path is hidden on the other side. It was built in ancient times to extend the well and extends well below the ocean depths, connecting us to the Canaan Island. Now my question to you is this. Do you intend to use that path to travel the Canaan Islands? Eh, I don't. You are welcome to stay here until the bridge is repaired. I suppose, I suppose that covers everything I wish to discuss. I, I, I thought he was going to force me. I've never actually pressed I don't before. Uh, I was expecting him to go like, oh, you, you, you have to go and stuff like that. Oh my God. Okay. Learn something every day. Welp. Oh! I didn't realize something. <laughs> so you are required to say I do. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, it was. In that case, I ask you take this. The live art. Or live art. English shocks, guys. Don't don't learn English. I can search for the mirror. All right, so we're going to head into the ruins. Cause why the hell not? So with our new sword, we now got what I believe is... So, the East... Uh, oh, it's Isha. Yep. I'm heading to the Underground Passage to go to the village. Uh, will I what? Yes, I'll take it. She gave me a bracelet. I'll be back, don't worry. I think she likes me now. So, I say we head to that underground passage. What level are we? Level 6. Sweet. We are... This sword is a lot more powerful than the sword we had before. A lot more powerful. So yeah, this sword I believe is electric element, though I'm not too sure about that. And the East franchise has this, for these three games anyway, has these elements. So right now I have electricity. Um, and that's a thing. Yeah, it's, it's nice. And I'm just thinking about things out loud now. I say we head to that underground passage. No, I want to actually save over the second data. Um, one thing I'm going to do during this is, yeah, since I can save over these datas, I'm going to do it kind of one at a time. So welcome to Mythos Path. And here you got these really annoying small bug things that give really good experience. Like, really good. So... If you want to grind on any enemy right now, I recommend these ones. These ones give such great experience. There's a honey in there. If I'm going to, though, I'm going to off-screen. 
green most of this. Just cause... Uh, I'm gonna try to get to level like nine, I think. Nine or 10, maybe 11 or 12, I don't know. I think nine's what I'm going for. All right, level nine, I think. Yep, level nine, strength 72, 417 gold. Let's go touch this door, why not? That took about three minutes. And we meet uh, a black haired man. Looks like I need the right key to open it. Guess I'll just have to find some other way. Well, well, what have we got here? Never thought I'd run into somebody else in a place like this. Who are you, anyway? You sure don't look like you came from the town. At all. Christian, I washed up on these islands. At all, at all, Christian. Ha ha. You really never know what fate's gonna throw your way. Fancy meeting the legendary at all the red here at a time like this. I've heard all kinds of rumors about you. Mostly ones about you being a real goody two-shoes who can't keep his nose out of other people's business. I don't think I could let a chance like this slip by me even if I wanted to. How about it? Up to seeing how much of a fight you can muster up against my halberd? Hell yeah. Prove to me that blue ML sword of yours isn't just for shows. Yes. This is... Geese. Now, you do not have to win this fight, though you will get an achievement for winning it, though I don't know, I don't think, I highly doubt, I mean, I'm not much of an achievement person myself, but I won that. Not bad, not bad at all. Goody two-shoes or no, at least you know how to, your way around a sword. The name's Geiss. I'm an adventurer like you. But I dabble a bit in a, in a bit of mercenaries work on the side when I feel like it. Now, on the other side of these ruins is a place called Cannon Island. There's a town there where all the people who washed, who've washed up from Europe live. Why don't you sit tight and mind your own affairs for once in your life? It's for your own good. Now, well, there's a red door right here. I wonder if I can get by there. The door firmly closed. Well, that ain't gonna work. Okay. I'm fine with that. Hey, bugs. No. No. Bad. Cool. Oh, yeah. Uh... Nothing wrong with getting a little bit of experience. But I mean it. I'm gonna I'm gonna point out good enemies to grind on when I see them. Because this game is gonna be very well not easy. And I've stated that. This game is not easy. I might be looking like I'm doing okay, but that's only because I've played this game a few times, so I'm very used to how it feels, but those of you playing it for the first time, um, yeah, this game is not easy at all, and I, I don't know how to say it other than, yeah, this game is nothing. This game isn't going to be easy, and so you might drop it because you don't think it's, because it's really hard. And the games that play in this style are considered the hardest in the franchise. Because they do kick ass. They, they kick people's ass, and that's that's a thing. So yeah, these bugs are good enemies to grind on. Probably up to level 10, I think, is as far as you can get on these things. I don't think I need to be that high, but... 
Uh, I mean, you do you. Especially if this is your first time playing, I'm going to tell you, probably get to level 10. Anything you do that can make this game easier for you, probably the better. Hmm, we have may taken as much of stone from this area as we're able to. Looks like we're going to need to start taking from the underground then. Not looking forward to having to take care of all the insects down there first. From my experience, those should pose no trouble. My concern lies more in angering the court. Quartian people. But, oh, come on. Who cares about those tail freaks? What those tail freaks think? They got nothing to do with us. All we need to think about is making our own lives safer and more comfortable. That's Master Balsam's way, and I'm with him every step of the way. I suppose you're right. Oh. What? what the. How'd you end up in there? You sure don't look familiar. Are you the mercenary who washed up here a while back? No, he is not. He seems to be a new arrival. In any case, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am Lloyd of the Balsam, Balsam Trading Company. This man is our associate, Zanin. Based on your appearance, you've come from Europe as well. Would you mind if I asked you how you came to be in the Underground Passage? Uh, things happened, and yeah, I see. So you were rescued by the Reddit tribe, then. And you say the underground passage extends across the OC4 all the way to Quart Qu Quatera Island. A most interesting find. We should inform Master Balsalem at once. You must be one gusty bastard to make it your way through a dangerous place like this. How about it? You fancy working under Master Balsam? Balsam? Life is damn good if you do. You'll forget how you washed up here in no time. Now, now, Zanin. Zanzen. We mustn't press him. I'll be returning to Master Balsam as we agreed. Can I leave the bridge surveillance to you? Yeah, yeah, leave it to me. Alright, be seeing you, newcomer. Maybe we'll get a chance to have a drink us together or something, sometime. If you make a detour east from here, you'll find yourself at Port Ridgemore, the town which we call our home. I'll refer you to my employer, Master Balsam, so I insist you come visit his mansion once you're able to. He acts as both representative and leader of our town, so it might be wise to solicit an audience with him. Now if you will excuse me? Yeah, okay. So we've made it to the other islands. Sweet. And I'm going to save here. And I think I'm going to call this a episode. An episode. Next time on Let's Play E6, we will explore this town. I will see you guys then.